If you own an iPhone, stop what you're doing right now and set the date on it to January 1st, 1970. If you want to break your phone, if you don't want to break your phone, then don't do it. Do it to somebody else. Somebody you hate, preferably. I really hope no one actually paused the video and set their date to January 1st, 1970, because if they did, their phone is now in a permanent boot loop and is officially bricked. Before I explain why, how about that new intro? Good? Bad? Let me know about it in the comments. Anyway, so apparently if you set your iPhone or iPad or some other iOS device to the aforementioned date, it could set the internal clock to a number less than zero, which as it turns out, makes iOS take a shit. It only seems to work in some time zones though. So if you do happen to try it to that coworker that you hate, there is a chance that it won't work. If it does crap out, then the iOS device will be stuck in a constant boot loop that won't let it get any farther than the Apple boot logo. The only way to fix it is to take it into an Apple store and have them rip out the battery, or they could just try to do it themselves. Either way, scientists have successfully 3D printed structures made from living cells that are big enough and strong enough to replace human tissue. This new bioprinter was able to print off an ear, bone, and muscle structure using a plastic-like material mixed with living cells. Then of course, they strapped it all to a mouse somewhere in a lab. So. Basically, you have a little rat running around with five legs, three ears, and the ability to bench press a car. The point is, now that we can 3D print body parts that actually survive the printing process, we can use that to replace cartilage and bone in people who are injured from major accidents. Or, and this is just a thought, we could add another set of arms to people so they can do more stuff, like play two instruments at once, or some Rule 34 related thing. Ugh. Speaking of bad images you'd rather forget, researchers have found a way to manipulate the human memory. That's right, they can actually make you forget stuff or for that matter, implant false memories. The documentary related to this was released about a week ago on Nova and it highlights some of the things that they can do to people's memory. Now, of course, this has a huge medical application as it could possibly help people forget traumatic events throughout their life. But in the documentary, they talk about focusing on specific conditions that cause some people to not be able to forget anything in their life and helping them out. Personally, I think this has been around forever and the men in black have used it for decades to help keep alien encounters from going public. But that's just crazy. And what's really crazy is Windows 10 and it's super ridiculous methods of tracking and spying on every single thing you do all the freaking time. So some guy decided to test Windows 10 out with a fresh install of the Enterprise Edition, which by the way, should be the version with the least amount of tracking and the most amount of control. His results showed that Windows 10 phoned home over 5,500 times to 93 different IPs in eight hours. Wow. What's worse is that he even took the safer route and disabled every tracking method he could find and he downloaded a standalone software package that was supposed to disable more tracking methods. He ran the test again and found that Windows 10 still phoned home over 2,700 times. But hey, we already kind of knew about this. I mean, free's never free, so they gotta get their money back somehow. On a more positive note, a group of white hat hackers have been in an all out war with the Lizard Squad hacking group. You might know the Lizard Squad if you've tried to play video games on your Xbox or PlayStation during Christmas. What you might not have known is that they get most of their DDoS power from infected routers and other smart devices in people's homes. This white hat group called the White Team, totally not racist, has been creating malware that infects vulnerable devices and patches them so they cannot be breached by the bad guys. So far, they have infected over 70,000 devices, stripping away a decent amount of power from the Lizard Squad. Of course, this wouldn't be an issue if the manufacturers of routers and other smart devices just made them phone home constantly and check for updates and report on everything they've seen. Oh wait. That's it for today. Like and subscribe below. Follow me on Twitter, feed your dog, water the lawn, play Naked Twister, and have a great day.